Good morning everybody and welcome to our first celebration assembly of the summer term here at Lee Forest. Just want to start off today saying happy St George's Day to everybody. Fantastic to see you all dressed in red and white to celebrate this day together. So on to this week then. We've come back after the Easter holidays. I hope you're all refreshed and we've gone straight into our reading across the curriculum week. It's been really great to see lots of different activities happening across the school all linked into the carefully chosen books that your teachers picked for you. We've had lots of maths activities, writing, reading, science, lots of fantastic artwork, all linked into that text that your teachers have chosen and lots and lots of creativity across the school. So well done everybody. As you know, we love a competition at Lee Forest and I've got two competitions for you this week. So one is our walk to school competition. So there's an opportunity for you then to design one of the new badges that you get um, every half term for your walk into school tracker. Um, so you can collect those application forms and design forms from Mr. Croxon, and you just need to make sure you get those into him over the coming weeks. The second competition is the Big Leaf Forest Cleaner. And what that is, is we need you to design a poster to encourage people to not drop litter and tidy up around the school and the school grounds. Um, and again, you can collect the application forms and the poster designs there from Mr. Croxon for those. Or alternatively, if you want to do it as an electronic um, entry on your tablet or on your laptop, you can do that. And then we can get those to Mr. Croxon as well. So at the end of last term, we had our Easter egg competition winners for attendance. We've got a brand new competition for you for attendance then for the summer term. As you know, we always have a big drive on attendance and hitting our target of 96%. We got to that 96% at the end of the Easter. So what we need to do now is make sure that we continue that all the way through to the end of the summer so that we're still at or above 96% when we finish in the summer. So our competition then for this half term, you need to be in school every single day from now until the 28th of May. And if you can do that, you'll go into a prize draw for a £10 Smith's Toy Store voucher. We've got eight vouchers available, so there'll be a prize for every year group in school. But as they say, you've got to be in it to win it. So that means you have to be in school every single day between now and the end of this half term in May. One final thing for me to point out, you will have seen across school our year six children wearing their fantastic Leavers hoodies. I'm sure you'll all agree they all look very, very smart in those. And that's something that we've just got for our year six children just uh, as a thank you for all of the hard work that they've been doing. And then they've got the opportunity now to wear those for the remainder of the summer term as part of their school uniform. So if you're not in year six at the moment, don't worry, we will have things like that for you when it's your turn. Uh, but I'm sure you'll congratulate year six and all the hard work they've been doing. They've still got summer term to go. So I know that they're gonna keep uh, finding their remarkable and pushing their limits and just keep doing the very best that they can until the end of the year. Okay, what I'll do now then is hand over to your teachers and let's see who they've chosen as the child of the week for each class across the school. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. This week in nursery, we have chosen Matteo as our child of the week. Matteo, you have come back to school after our Easter holidays and you have just been remarkable. You work so hard throughout the Easter holidays as well, practicing all your handwriting and all your number formation and it's really paying off. Thank you so much to Mummy at home for all of the support and help as well. Keep being amazing. Well done. This week, I have chosen Rayon as my child of the week. Rayon, you started at Lee Forest just before Easter and I've been so proud of how you've settled. You've started to build relationships and you're also trying your best in everything that you do. Well done. My child of the week is Remy. Remy, me and Miss Freeman have been really impressed with how hard you're working on your phonics. You're trying really hard with your segmenting and blending and your writing has really improved, so well done. My star of the week this week is Riley. Riley, you have come back with such a positive attitude and you're being very independent. You're doing all the activities and you're trying really, really hard. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you keep that up. Well done. 
Hi everyone, my child of the week this week is Ivy. And Ivy, we've chosen you because your writing has been remarkable. You've been pushing your limits and really trying hard. So well done, keep it up, we're so proud. My child of the week has made excellent progress with his writing. At the beginning of year one, he used to go to Miss Jones, who would support him with writing his sentences. But now he can independently write a sentence, remembering to use capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. And I'm so pleased to have him back in my English lessons. And I know that Mrs Brinley is just as, as impressed as I am. So my child of the week goes to Hashim. Hashim, I am really pleased with the progress that you are making. Keep up this amazing work. Well done. My style of the week is Tanaya. Tanaya, I've chosen you this week because since we've been come back, your attitude towards learning has been absolutely remarkable. You have been really trying your best and really pushing your limits. I really want to say that I'm really proud of you and you should be proud of yourself too. Well done. My child of the week this week is Sahia. Sahia, I have chosen you for your fantastic DT homework. You have made a Punch and Judy show and you have made it completely on your own. Mum told me you really enjoyed going to buy all of the equipment that you needed and she said that you didn't want any help from an adult. So well done Sahia, your homework was fantastic. Hi everyone, for my child of week this week I've chosen somebody who has shown high aspirations in all areas of their learning this week. This week we've been looking at the book Drum Dream Girl and this person was able to use their computing skills, their geography skills and their musical skills to research different instruments from around the world. I've also been impressed with how unusually brave they've been this week. Year 3 have had the chance to complete their bike ability and I could see that this person was really enjoying the bike ability course outside on the playground. So a big well done Aeon, keep up the hard work. Everybody, my child of the week this week is Abdu Rahman. We've been reading Drum Dream Girl this week and we have been learning all about Cuba and Latin America. Abdu Rahman, your geography knowledge has just knocked my socks off this week. We've worked so hard to learn all about music and instruments from all around the world and Abdu Rahman has done a remarkable job with this. It's been a pleasure teaching you this week. Please keep up the fantastic work. Well done. This week I have decided to pick Sabrina as my remarkable child of the week. Sabrina, thank you for working so hard in class. You have produced some outstanding work this week. You've been listening really carefully and giving everything a really good try. Thank you for all your efforts and please keep up the good work. Hello all, my child of the week this week is Blake and I've chosen Blake because of all of the contributions he has made throughout this week's lessons. I know he really enjoyed our book The Heart and the Bottle by Oliver Jeffries and that showed in the contributions he was making and the work that he completed in all of his lessons. Keep up the amazing work Blake. Bye all. Good morning. My child of the week this week is for Samaya. Samaya, you're my child of the week because you're ready to learn 100% of the time. You've always got your head down doing exactly what you should be doing and your work is always a really high standard. Your handwriting and presentation is impeccable and you should be really proud of yourself. Well done, Samaya. Hi everyone. My child of the week this week is Dechelle Clark. Uh, he's come back from the Easter holidays with a fantastic attitude and has already produced some great pieces of work. His behaviour has massively improved and I've been really proud of him. So keep up the great work, Dechelle. Well done. The person I've chosen this week for my child of the week is Asriel. I've chosen Asriel because she always works so hard, 
completes her work to a really high standard and is such a good friend to everybody in the class. She's really big hearted and really deserves this week to be child of the week. Well done, Asriel. Hi everybody, 6CF's Child of the Week this week goes to Abdul. Abdul joined us not too long ago, only a few weeks ago and settled in wonderfully. Has fully adopted the Lee Forest rules and values and is now a valued member of our class, always showing respect and trying his best within his work. It's been a pleasure to have you join us Abdul. Enjoy the rest of your year six and continue with the hard work. Hello everyone. I cannot believe that I have not chosen this remarkable young lady for Child of the Week sooner. And my Child of the Week this week is Safi. She is a perfect role model. She joins in everything with enthusiasm and 100% effort. I know she's been working with the remarkable lives activities dancing and she's also doing some drama she's created some amazing work this week during our reading for the curriculum week and i just love how she comes in school every day polite and with a massive smile on her face she brightens my day thank you sappy Aline in one hm you are the star of the week in the EAL Hub because you have been working so hard to push your limits. And it's lovely to see you joining in when we retell our story and it's great to have you sharing your wonderful ideas. Well done Aline, keep it going. See you soon, bye. Hi everyone, the Learning Mentors Child of the Week this week is Junior Bird. Junior's tried really hard this week to get back into his learning after he enjoyed his Easter break. He's been walking around with a big smile on his face, happy to help me and the Learning Mentors team at any time. It's really nice to have him in school, on time, every day, working hard. Well done, Junior, for pushing your limits. Mufas, hmm? you know we're finally here, right? Well, we... It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday.
gonna drown my This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be.